Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Nobody Spent A Road To Glory. And today we have got some new dynamic duos that have been added into the game. By my reckoning, by my counting, there are 20 new duos that have been added into the game. So that's pretty cool, so we're going to go through all 20 in this video. Obviously I can't show all the boosts because I don't have the cards, and you can't see the boosts unless you've bought the cards, which is another really dumb thing about 2k, but it is what it is. But I can still tell you guys which cards have the boosts. I can have a look at their prices right now, because some prices right now are absolutely wild. Let me just tell you, a pink diamond Dwayne Wade that probably used to sell for basically nothing now sells, or the first one has a bid, of 250,000 MT. Like what? And I'll tell you guys who he duos with when we get around to it. We've also got a couple of packs to open up today. We've got six packs in there from some TTO, which we played yesterday. And then we will briefly touch on these throwback moments cards as well, because they came out yesterday. We didn't go through them in video. We went through them on stream, but I will briefly mention about those cards so onto the agenda we've got absolutely nothing which is annoying because on my road to glory account one of our agendas today was winning a limited game by 15 points you got five tokens five tokens for one game of unlimited yes please not these domination ones that i keep getting all the time that's just absolutely trash uh, and then the limited time event today 200 mt for every tto win it's not good is it realistically in a two hour time span if you won every single game you could probably get through 20 games Gets you a bonus 4,000 MT. It's better than nothing, but realistically, I don't think that's going to get anyone too excited about playing TTO. Now, before we jump into it, guys, of course, a massive shout out to the MVPs and the GOATs of the channel. For the MVPs, we have got Heisenberg, Panda, Amru, Todd, John Harry, Dr. K, Will, Harco, Cole, Joaquim, Safe, Patrick, Bog. I think I smashed that. And then we've got the GOATs. We have, of course, got Eric, Jason, Ice Cream, Cody, Z. Spooky, and then the two new guys from yesterday, my guys, Caleb and Christopher, thank you guys so much for the support. And if you guys want to get involved as well, help support the channel, there's a join button down below. If not, top line description will show you how it is done. And one more bit of self-promo before we jump into it today. We are very, very close to 500 followers over on Instagram, which is pretty cool. So JD underscore crossover one over on Instagram. Drop me a follow. We try to post at least a couple of times a week over there. Not all 2K related. A couple of real life stuff, real life stuff a couple of racing things, a couple of car things. So... If that is your thing, then go ahead and drop me a follow over on there as well. All right, so TTO, we have played quite a few more games. Um, apparently, there were still the Father's Day cards on the boards yesterday, but we didn't actually manage to see any of them. So we just played and we did manage to get six packs. So we have got two Prime Wilt Chamberlain packs, two Standard League packs, a Base League pack, and a Deluxe Series 2 pack. So realistically, not the best set of packs, but Prime Wilt Chamberlain is not bad at all. If we could get... Something decent out of that. A pink love Wilt Chamberlain would not go amiss. So we'll get these standard league packs out of the way first because, of course, these are Series 1. Maximum you can get from these is an Amethyst. And Silver players are definitely what you want to be aiming for because even those Amethysts I don't think have any sort of value right now. Um, I didn't want to apply this to a player, but 2K have just got us locked into that and it takes too long to get out of it, so that's fine. And then out of the Deluxe Series 2, of course, you can get one of the pink diamonds. I think there's five pink diamonds. In the Deluxe Series 2, because that is Kawhi, Giannis, LeBron, AD, and James Harden. I think they are the only five. So, let's go ahead and get into that pack real quick. I'm sure I just said send all to the auctions, but hey, don't worry about it, 2K. And then we'll get into our two Wilt Chamberlain packs. Now, Wilt the Stilt himself, I don't think has too much value. Or oh, two silvers, let's get it. I don't think he has too much value. Um, he's not one of the cards that has a new duo or anything like that. But, let's see. Are we going to get lucky from packs? No, we're not. Silver player, hey, I'm going to take it. If we don't get a pink diamond, I will definitely take a silver. And then out of the second pack, are we going to see anything in this one? We are not. We are going to get a gold Andre Iguodala. Okay, not exciting, but it is what it is. All right, so let's go ahead again. 2K, what are you doing in these menus, bro? I said send all to auctions. This game is so dumb. Uh, right, okay, auction outcomes. We have picked up a couple of Penny Hardaways because he is a dynamic duo, and I thought his price might rise a little bit, but I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Loads of duplicates, which we will get around to selling in the not-too-distant future. And just to quickly touch on the cards that we got yesterday, we got a six-foot Trey Burke, so straight away, six-foot, pretty much unusable. Uh, you can use him for fun in TTO, but you probably won't have fun because people will be running with ridiculously tall lineups. Keith Van Horn comes in. He's a nice-looking card, but realistically not the most incredible. And then the Opals were really, really underwhelming. Elton Brand coming in at six-foot-nine, Power forward center, not really got a three ball on him, so Elton Brown is a big no-no. D'Angelo Russell, for some reason, at 200k, 
even though his release just ain't all that. Like, his Pink Diamond release was trash, and the Opal release is not much better. And then we also got an Alex English, who is a very, very similar player to Carmelo Anthony, so I've heard. He's got the same base. Um, and it was probably the best card out of the set yesterday, but again, you can see by his price, it's not an exciting card at all. All right, moving on to our starting lineup, and as you can see, we've got a couple of players with some new duos. So, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Kareem, Bill Russell, and Siakam out of our uh, starting thir or our 13 man rotation right here have duos and Magic Johnson and Kareem have one together. So what boosts do they get? Well, Magic Johnson gets two extra Hall of Fame badges. He gets 99.3, 99 standing dunk, 99 block, 98 offensive rebounding and 98 strength. Now, what were they before the boost? They were 98. So he's had five stats got by one. That is it. And then uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has gone up one Hall of Fame badge. And then again, in terms of stats, everything that wasn't 99 is now 99. I think he had a couple of stats at 97, then a few at 98. But now everything is 99. So Kareem, MJ and Magic are now all 99s everywhere, which is kind of ridiculous. Now, as for Michael Jordan's partner, it is going to be partner, duo. It is the Galaxy Opal Scotty Pippin from the TakeOver set. So all the way down here. That Galaxy Opal Scotty now goes from 54 Hall of Fame badges. No, wait. 56 Hall of Fame badges is what he had. He now has 68. 68 Hall of Fame badges on that Scotty Pippen now. That is absolutely absurd. Um, we have then got... Wait, I can show the boost, can't I? If I go to over here. So, Michael Jordan. Yeah, as you can see, he doesn't get anything. Oh, he does. He gets plus one to drive it out. Wait, what? Why? I don't even know. Uh, and he gets one gold to Hall of Fame badge upgrade. Uh, but yeah, look at this Scotty Pippen badges, bro. That's a madness. And in terms of his actual stats, they only go up like sort of like plus one. But a lot of them do go up plus one. Does that make him like 99 everything? I don't know, but decent-ish. I mean, you're not going to notice these stats realistically on the floor, but the badge boosts are... Hey, that was a nice little glitch right there. Uh, the badge boosts are uh, quite nice, quite nice. And then, yeah, you can see the Magic and the uh, Cream one that right there. So they both get Pump Fake Maestro at Hall of Fame level. And they, uh, well, Magic Johnson gets Hall of Fame Pick and Popper. So it's, it's okay. It's better than nothing, I guess. Not going to complain, not going to turn it down. And then for the other cards we've actually got in the club, we have got Opal Ben, Opal Bill Russell and Pink Diamond Ben Wallace. So Bill Russell gets a plus five to his three, a plus three to his mid-range, uh, and then gold handles for days. And then Ben Wallace gets a couple of boosts everywhere, gets a plus 50 shot IQ, and then bronze handles for days. What? <laughs> Why? What dev sat there and thought, do you know what, guys? Ben Wallace needs a badge. But let's not go too crazy. Let's only give him a bronze badge. What about Handles of Days? And someone else has gone, yeah, that's that sounds about right for Ben Wallace. Like, what? Hey, this game is mad. Uh, but anyway, in terms of the prices of these guys, Bill Russell right now hasn't really changed too much. As I'm recording this, 2K haven't tweeted out these duos are live, so maybe it's not like uh, proper common knowledge just yet. But it is all over Twitter and, of course, all over YouTube. So let's find uh, Ben Wallace, who is somewhere around here, I'm sure. No, he's glitched, isn't he? Yep, I, how did I forget? How do I forget? So, yeah, Evode, I think Evode was already pretty damn expensive, but I don't know, there he is if you want to go ahead and uh, pick him up. The other card in our club that we have, we've actually got two more, uh, we've got Galaxy Opal Spicy P, who goes up plus three driving layout, plus two mid-range, plus three three-pointer, a little bit to rebounding, plus nine driving dunk, that's nice, and then he gets Hall of Fame chase down Dead Iron Hot Start, that's very nice. Now that Kawhi Leonard right there, that Kawhi Leonard is the pink diamond one. Not the moment's one. There's a pink diamond from the Spotlight Jeremy Lin set. So an OG card that's been out for ages. Uh, he gets six Hall of Fame badges. Again, bronze slippery off ball, because why? Plus 13 to driving dunk is nice. Plus 9 to three-pointer. Plus 5 to mid-range. Plus 5 to driving layup. So pretty nice boost, to be fair. Spicy P is now 130k. And then the Jeremy Lin Kawhi Leonard is 67 or like 75k right now. Um, but again, he only goes up like four or five Hall of Fame badges. So... You might as well just buy the Pink Diamond Moments Kawhi anyway, because that Moments Kawhi is a lot better than this one. So, I don't know. 2K do some weird things. Uh, the other duo I have in my club is Diamond at Josh Smith, who now goes up to Pink Diamond level. He gets a plus 11 to mid-range, plus 10 to three-pointer, plus eight offensive rebounding, plus nine speed with ball. So, it's actually a really, really good duo. And then Hall of Fame, quick draw, pick a pop a catch and shoot. And he gets it with the, who is that, the New Year's Resolution Rajon Rondo, I think. 
and Rondo gets a plus 8 to a 3 pointer, plus 9 to a plus 6 to mid range. And again, we come down here, he gets quite a few badges. Again, why are they giving people bronze badges? That's so strange, 2K. Maybe it's because of their Evos, actually. I've just had a thought about that. Maybe it's because of their Evos. So maybe they're the base levels they get, and if they're already Evoed, then those bronze badges are already up to like gold or something. I don't know. There's probably something to do with that, but yeah. Decent badges to everyone, but Rajon Rondo, you're not going to be using him anyway. But Joe Smith, or Josh Smith actually looks quite nice in terms of his price. Hasn't really changed him at all, and I really can't imagine that Rondo's price has changed at all. No, it hasn't. So that's not a surprise. Other cards that we have in our collection. We come down to this Showtime set right here has been hit big time. Four out of the, what was it, 13 players? Uh, no, it's not. It's 10, 12. Four out of the 12 players have been hit with duos out of nowhere. So first off, we have got Rashad Lewis, as if this boy wasn't expensive enough. Now he gets a duo with Gallic Chapel, Hedy Turkley. So Rashad Lewis gets plus two three-pointer. It's sort of like plus ones and twos everywhere, realistically, and gets two Hall of Fame badges. As for Hedy Turkley, he gets plus five to mid-range, plus five to uh, rebounding, plus five to driving dunk, not bad. And then gets Bailout and Pump Fake Maestro, Maestro at Hall of Fame level. Rashad Lewis is now 2.3 mil, which is absurd. And then Hedy Turkley, where are you at, bro? He is coming in at maybe not expensive. I think earlier he was about 150 to 170, so maybe around that price. I don't know, maybe people aren't too fussed about that duo. Next up, we've got the Shaq. And this is probably one of the madder duos out of all of them. Like, you're seeing out of the majority of them, they're just sort of like ones or twos everywhere. But this Shaq plus 24 three pointer. It is 70, it is now 94 after the boost. Mad. He is around 150k right now, so his price hasn't really changed, but he does duo with the pink diamond Dwayne Wade. And let me tell you about this guy's price, shall I? <laughs> no, 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 no. 400,000 MT. Oh my. That is absurd. I mean, technically, I guess you're getting like a glitch shack, because this one obviously now has a three pointer, it can already speed boost. So technically, it's like having a glitch shack out there. And this shack itself isn't that expensive. But my goodness, 400k for a pink diamond Dwayne Wade. Couldn't be me. But as for Dwayne Wade, he gets five extra Hall of Fame badges. Still doesn't have like the defensive badges like Pick Dodger and stuff like that. And he gets like plus three to a lot of badges and plus ten to hustle, which you're never really going to notice out on the floor anyway. Next up, we have got Jimmy Butler, who comes in at still around 100k. His price hasn't really changed too much. He gets a negligible amount of badges or uh stat boost plus four to driving dunk is okay uh four badges go to hall of fame level and he goes with who's butler's with i've got them all written down right here it's just a matter of me finding jimmy butler's name he goes with galaxy with derek rose i don't know why derek rose doesn't show right there okay it does if you do it slowly you can see uh, and then derek rose gets another six hall of fame badges and stats pretty irrelevant pretty irrelevant let's say that and then as for Derek Rose's price right now, let's take a look real quick. Still around that 100k mark, unevoed, and then 170k evoed. So not really much has changed in terms of his price. Uh, and then we have Penny Hardaway. You guys saw I invested in seven of him because he does go with the glitched shack. So both Opal shacks have now got dynamic duos. And Penny actually gets some nice boosts. Plus 8 to mid-range, plus 9 to 3 pointer, plus 6 to lateral quickness, plus 10 to strength, 3 extra Hall of Fame badges. And then as for Shaq, he gets a plus 5 mid, plus 5 3. Not really changed too much. And Penny does become an Opal as well. But his price hasn't really changed. I bought all of mine for 9,500 MT, expecting his price to go up a little bit, but nothing has changed as of just yet. And as for Shaq, probably hasn't changed too much because he's already quite expensive. Uh, was he down at 600k? I don't even know. But if he is, why are you paying 400k for Dwayne Wade? <laughs> you could just buy the glitch shack. Oh, no, that don't make any sense to me. But that is, oh, well, that didn't make any sense. They are all the duos that I have in the club. So I think it was about 10 of them or so, I think. So the other duos that we have in the game, we have got, gone through all of those, gone through all of those, uh, Tim Duncan and Tony Parker from the token reward market. So both of the Opals from the Spurs now have a dynamic duo. So Tim Duncan and Tony Parker. Apparently they do get some nice stats, and nice badges. But realistically, Tony Parker undersized. Tim Duncan always got a little bit of slow release still. Uh, he does get a Hall of Fame quick draw now because I believe this one only has gold. Let's double check that real quick because his release is very, very slow. Uh, and obviously gold quick draw had something to play in that. Yeah, but it is up to Hall of Fame right now, but apparently it's still on the slow side. So still nothing to write home about right there. We've got Jimmy Butler Rose been over that. We've been over that one. Paul George and Danny Granger. So Paul George Prime. 
over here at 500k, and then the Prime VIP, Danny Granger, down here. They have now got a duo. Danny Granger, not really changed too much in price to like 80k, which isn't too bad. Uh, we have then got Glitched Dirk and Opal Luka Doncic. So every Glitch card now has one. Uh, so yeah, Glitched Dirk right there, and then the Prime Series 3 Luka Doncic as well, coming in at 250k. God damn, this is expensive. Uh, we have then got the Supersonics duo of... Gary Payton, I was about to say George Gervin, but no. Uh, Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. But again, another one where both guys really don't have the best release in the world. It would be fun to run these guys in a Sonic score builder for sure. Um, so it's nice they've got a duo, but again, not good releases. And the duo is not going to change someone's release, is it? So yeah, definitely keep that in mind. We have then got Alex. Alex, that's not a player. Alan Iverson, uh, who is over here. So we've got AI, the Galaxy Opal, who's been out for so long. With Pink Diamond, Andre Iguodala. I think it should be this one. It is. So Pink Diamond, Iggy, and uh, Galaxy Oval AI. Again, AI, undersized. Iggy, definitely undersized at power forward. 666 six, small forward again. Maybe a little bit still undersized. But yeah, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. Uh, we've then got Yao Ming and Pink Diamond at Tracy McGrady. So let's find that Tracy McGrady. Where is he? Here he is. Not changed too much in price, but looks it's still at about 50,000 MT. And then Yao Ming comes in at 300k still. God damn, that is insane. I imagine Yao Ming will get quite a bit of a boost to his three-point shot. Uh, no, range extender. I think he gets range because he doesn't have that on this card as base, but I think he does get that. We've then got LeBron James, the Opal one, the point guard one. He now has a dynamic duo with the Galaxy Opal Kyrie Irving uh, down here. Price doesn't really change too much. Still around that 70,000 MT mark, if that. Um, so, yeah. Kyrie and LeBron, if you want to recreate that Cavs team, you can do with a dynamic duo. Then we've got Galaxy Opal, Steph Curry. So we'll stay down here. We've got Steph Curry right there with KD, which I believe is the pink diamond one. I might be wrong, but I think that's the pink diamond one. Not that one. He's got a pink diamond here, doesn't he, somewhere? Yeah, there we go, that one. How did I not find that? I don't know. But the Prime VIP Series 2, Kevin Durant has one with the Opal Stephen Curry. Uh, we keep on moving. We've got Trey. This is a weird one. We've got Opal Trey Young, uh, which is like, yeah, sure. He gets a duo. That's nice. Amethyst John Collins. I don't know about that one, 2K. I don't know who's going to be using an Amethyst John Collins at this stage of the game, but sure, fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, they've got one. Hawks Connection coming in. Very nice. Uh, we have then got Larry Keenan, who was an Opal that came out not too long ago. Anyway, there he is. Uh, so, Larry Keenan gets one with the Galaxy, not the Galaxy Opal. If only, the Diamond Dr. J. So again, a car that's pretty outdated. Two Hall of Fame badges. That's a yikes from me. Uh, next up, we have got the Rondo Smith. And then we've got Tracy McGrady Glitched. The Glitched Point Guard one. Uh, so there we go. Not only an Evo, but also a Dynamic Duo now as well. And that one is with the Pink Diamond Vince Carter, who was already pretty damn expensive. So now, I imagine, is going to be even more expensive. Look at that. There's only one, two, three, four... There's only seven up on the auction house. Oh my god, this card is so rare. But yeah, Tracy McGrady and Vince Carter now have one as well. So all in all, guys, are these exciting and interesting? Sure. Are they actually going to be practical and good and usable? No. Don't panic buy these cards, guys. They're not worth it. None of these boosts are actually that insane. Sure, Shaq's nice, but he's already got the glitch Shaq. So again, that's not really too much of a, an upset. And the majority of boosts are just one and two stats everywhere. No one has anything really meaningful, and if they do, they're already a card that has a bad release. So definitely keep that in mind. But hey, it's more content. My Magic and Kareem are now 99 everythings. It looks pretty cool having that active duo. So I guess that's something. But that's going to do it, guys. Let me know down below if you've got any of these new duos, if you're going to be running with any of the uh, team duos, like obviously the LeBron, Kyrie, Trey, um, and John Collins. Who is it? Kemp and Gary Payton. Any of those team duos, they could be pretty cool and definitely fun to run in the future in squad builders but that's going to do it guys hope you have enjoyed as usual please like subscribe and i'll see you next time peace